from Kenyans shocking Tanzanians. Hakuna inchi yenye siasa ngumu duniani kama Kenya. To 120 students arrested and they're being held at Pangani police station. Did Ruto do this? In 207 who butchered people? ODM fake church support. Wamenyamaza tu, menyamaza wanagoja waone hii mchezo ya patapotea vile itaenda. Anguka na Tuarkabe for you. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Derry. So, the question of today is, who is William Ruto? Some people will say that he's a great president. Some people will say that he's a corrupt president. Some people will say that he's wise, that he knows how to play his cards well. And some people will say that he's a butcher. The former member of the Kenyan parliament, Mother Karua, had to say this about William Samoy Ruto. In 207, who butchered people? ODM. And who was the chief butcher? Ruto again. That's why he went to the ICC. And you forgive me if I call William Ruto the butcher of Kenya. Mm. That's what he is. Mm. Last year in Azimio demonstrations over 70 dead. The known ones because we don't know whether they falsified records also last year. This year we don't know how many. But I bet there are more than 100. What other name can we call him but butcher of Kenya? Mm. This has to stop and it will only stop because you and me wanted to stop. Kenyans must stop fearing. Some who were killed were not even in the demonstrations. You are met going about your business, children coming from school, people in a supermarket. So even if your fear keeps you away from thinking about this, it can happen to you or to your loved one mm -hmm. we are called upon to save our country our country is gone the republic is no more not the way the constitution knows it in its place we have a colonial exploitative state that doesn't care about people's life that is gleeful when taking away people's life it is gleeful when forcing kenyans to die of hunger it's gleeful when civil servants including the police have pay slips that are in the negative so kenyans who is really william samoy ruto if you have the right answer to this question tell us in the comments down below in 207 who butchered people odm and who was the chief butcher ruto again the more we talk about william samoy ruto the more questions pop up and kenyans Like are we really being led by the right leaders or are we slaves in our own country In this country six families and 8000 Kenyans six families and 8000 Kenyans control 90% of the GDP 90% of the GDP six. It's controlled by 8000 people six families six families and 8000 people they control 90% We are not a country we are a plantation <laughs> we live in people's <laughs> we, are not, we are not a country we are a plantation <laughs> we are not worse we are not better off than uh, what used to exist in the in the medieval times when there was slavery and uh, because we we work for we work for ruto mm. we work for 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 this 8000 the guys six families that's why they can afford to buy houses in dubai at the cost of 210 million 207 million that's why ruto's ministers can import edible oil and, uh, and evade and uh, lose the country loses 11 billion shillings like that this is why uh, a government minister writes and says i want 17 billion to buy uh, 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 oil sub to pay oil subsidy and that money is withdrawn from the consolidated fund which is criminal and illegal which is uh, treason And it's happening. As we have our own eternal affairs in our own country, 
but outside Kenya, Kenya is being praised worldwide. Listen to what this Tanzanian man had to say about Kenya. Hakuna inchi yenye siasa ngumu duniani kama Kenya. Ya hatu kenda kumuliza mboe tundulisu, muulize mwana siyasa yoyota atakuambia pale ni inchi yenye siyasa ngumu kuliko taifa lolote duniani. Duniani zi wa Afrika. Yani inchi yenye siyasa ngumu. Munda wote damu inamwagika. Kila mtu anaakili. Kila mtu ni msomi. Paka mamantilie kasoma chuo kikuu. Kenya. Paka mpiga debe chuo kikuu kwao ni sawasawa na sisi form 6 yani mtu Tanzania kwamba yuko form 4 form 6 ilivyo hapa eti ni kitu babu kubwa sasa kule e, chuo kikuu ni sawasawa na form 4 form 6 so Kenyans let us make Kenya a great country because this country is loved this country is being praised worldwide people love Kenya many people are, are craving to come and visit Kenya even marry our beautiful women. So, Kenyans, let us not give up in this battle for fighting for good governance. Kila mtu anaakili, kila mtu ni msomi. Paka mamantilie, kasoma chuo kikuu. Kenya. Paka mpiga debe chuo kikuu. Currently, the people of Kenya are really tired of what is happening in this country. Even in Mombasa, one woman came out and expressed his disappointment towards Rela Odinga, for him going to bed with the government. Just listen to what she had to say. Namlaumu Raila, Raila namlaumu sana. Yendo ameleta hii chocho chocho hapa. Angeacha ile nyumba ikaungue kateketea peke yao. Hamechukua wa mawaziri, hamewajaza pale. Yendo hamechotea. Na kule EU, nataka anguke, 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 atanguka, atachoka, atachoka. Manaki yendo hamechotea hii. Watoto hameulio wakati wa mandamani. Rex Masai alikuwa kwanza. Hawajapata haki yao. Hawajapata haki yao kabisa. Hameuliwa. Kani wabunga na jadini mambo mingini ya ujinga. Waso jadini mambo kama ee ya kina NHIF. Ya uwanje wa ndege. Waona. Hiyo hapo mikuangu. Nimekata. Nimeka sikisa hivi. Nini pia naenda siptali. Nasikia homa kwa mkwemu. Naenda siptali. Bad governance. Bad governance will kill us all. Imagine. Taxes are increasing every day. The medical system, people are being hospitalized, but the medical system is down. They're like there's nothing working. Development, ghost projects from years and years back, there's still nothing to show for it. But yet our beloved government has the balls, has the balls to increase school fees. The students from the Nairobi Technical College said enough is enough. And they took it to the streets and this is how things unfolded. When the fearless students from the Nairobi Technical College took to the streets and expressed their disappointments against the government for increasing school fees, and yet the, our, our economy is not is in bad shape, but what did the students get in return? 120 students were arrested. They were met with brutality. Let's take a look at what Dr. Mubi Seraki had to say about it. I'm receiving reports that 120 students including the student leaders of the Nairobi Technical Training Institute, have been arrested and they're being held at Pangani Police Station. They were actually demonstrating peacefully against the sudden um, hikes in student fees, which is going to affect most of them and make it impossible for them to continue with their education. Next thing, they were rounded up and now they're being held in Pangani Police Station. So guys are appealing to LSK or any lawyers of goodwill to please make your way to uh, Pangani Police Station and see how you can help them. Kwani, I thought peaceful demonstration is part of our rights. How are we turning into a police state all of a sudden, family? 
it is not illegal to demonstrate. In the Kenyan Constitution, Article 37, it clearly says that every Kenyan, every person has a right to peacefully and unarmed assemble, demonstrate, to picket, and present petitions to public authorities. But yet, 120 students were arrested. Why? Ruto, why? <laughs> How are we turning into a police state all of a sudden, family? Sometimes I wonder, is the Kenyan churches a business place or is it truly genuine that they are serving the one and truly living God? When Rigathi Gashagwa, the former deputy president of Kenya, was in power, you saw so many churches every day inviting them, inviting his wife, Dorgas Rigathi, to church events. But since he's no longer in power, the churches have gone silent. Like... Listen to this. The truth of the matter is, is that uh, the support for Pastor Dokas together from the church was not genuine. The only reason Walikuwa Wanashinda Waki invite Pastor Dokas together Kila Mahali is not because they value her as a person, it's because of her position of power and money. Ile pesa alikuwa na piana kwa hizo makanisa. That is why she was getting that kind of attention, invitations, and relevance. Throughout this process of impeachment, umeona a single person wa hizo makanisa kitokezea kupeana a single statement. Ata saa hii vile rigijiz in hospital. Have you seen any of those churches? Wamenyamaza tu, menyamaza wanagoja waone hii mchezo ya patapotea vile itaenda. And their attention and um, loyalty is going to shift maybe back to Rachel because that's where the money and power is. Yeah, and Dokas, Pastor Dokas Rigathi will no longer be relevant to those churches because their interest is not who she is as a person, but the money and the influence she she has. Now wao chenye wanafuata ni pesa na influence. So genuinely speaking, genuinely speaking, in your own view, in your view, tell us in the comments down below, what do you think about the Kenyan, the modern Kenyan churches? Do you think they are serving the one and truly living God? Or do you think this is just another business industry? Na wao chenye wanafuata ni pesa na influence. A Kenyan politician by the name of Cyrus Jirongo, he came with a very incriminating information against the president of Kenya, William Ruto. Like I'm just speechless. I have no words to say. But just listen to what Cyrus Jirongo had to say. Listen to this controversial uh, confession. <laughs> A Kenyan urban spoken word artist by the name of Brian Silways has done it again. He took to the streets to inject civic education to the people of Kenya. Story, sorry, go, story, sorry, come. Listen to what he had to say.
Whether in the past time or present, relax, or stance, don't stay wondering what to do, stay hydrated because water, water is source of life, but life is not source of water. We are kazi na wasko pia ukate maji, lakini uskate kakwota, na kapla ulewe chakari, uliepa ajo kishoni ya soda, rembo, unakafiti, kuwacha na utaajwa. We ona lilia mbegu ya boyfriend, akutaki nika ujune za pata jeans kwa toja, na bro, hata kamu meunga kwa jeans. Our Rembo wa Nairobi sumia mapenzi ya kifua. Tuwaneza kuwacha juwa msi ya meunga kwa toja. So na kuru place ni metoka. Na kuru place ni metoka. Wasani na wacheza juwa mpiru wa koso saadi yetu wanakuwa kue na afraha. Hini ya mkaku realize. Kiwanji imefunguliwa online lakini juwa corruption kwa grao imefungwa. Na sports kiki ni kwezi kama kiki ya ulichakuwa kwa parliament. So dear Mr. President, let's talk about IMF. We just like your friends abroad umefanya Kenya na madeni zimekuwa ma BFF. We unaenda kudiscuss issues za vibanda kwa KEF. Na Kenya we have a very prayerful nation. <laughs> Wameamua kuwa hand in hand na magost waka. Huko apart from bathing wezi pata waoga na nasema Nairobi tunaambia serikali maishi imekuwa costly alafu wanatupeleka coastal. Na ndio endelee ku practice political prostitution wanaamua nani hata mkubwa wa Magoldiga kuwe joho. <laughs> Power to the people! Power to the people! Power to the people! Power, power! Power, power! We are here to reclaim our country, to redeem our country, and to repossess our country. Because our country has been taken hostage. Cost of living, guys, is too high. And for me, for my safety, if at all the, the government cannot protect themselves, how can they protect us? So I hope um, what has happened here today will like, will like make them see that we are not alone. Our people united! Our people united! Our people united! Mr. President, we are tired of you. Mr. President, can you please stop killing Kenyans? Mr. President, can you please think about our future? Viva viva! Viva viva! Viva viva! Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.